What's up, members of the Barrio? It's John coming to you from Washington Heights near the top of Manhattan. And today, we're gonna be continuing our Locals Guide to New York City. And this is personally turning into one of my favorite series on the channel. And today's guest grew up here in Washington Heights. She knows so much about this neighborhood and you're gonna learn a lot from her. Hi, I'm Noemi and I'm gonna be showing you around my neighborhood. I grew up here, I love it here. It has amazing culture, amazing people and amazing Dominican food. So I'm excited to show you a few of my favorite spots. I have to admit the views here are fantastic. You've got the George Washington Bridge that way. You have this amazing little park here and you said that you grew up coming here a lot? Yeah, so as a kid, we would always come here for picnics, for uh, baby showers, for birthday parties. So this was our go-to spot in the summer, in the spring, uh, just to be outdoors and be in nature a little bit. This is a hidden gem for sure because it has a lot of medieval art and culture and it's part of the Met, so it's definitely worth a visit to come up here. I don't want to go inside with a camera today because I honestly think this museum deserves its own video. It is so cool. I've been in there before. If you're into medieval art, I mean look at this place right here. It's like we're in a European castle at the top of Manhattan. Hidden gem is the right word. Why do you think this neighborhood is a hidden gem that more tourists should know about? It's uh, one of the last few neighborhoods in Manhattan that's retained its culture. And because of that, the prices of Airbnbs, apartments are a lot cheaper up here. And also the cost of food. You can find fresh produce very cheap around here and restaurant food as well. I wanted to take you here so that you could see the highest natural point of Manhattan in Washington Heights, where it gets its name from. There you go. As we head south from the top of Washington Heights, this area is so peaceful, it's quiet, everything looks so tidy, but you told me that things are about to change in a few blocks. So yeah, this is the nicer area, a little bit more expensive, um, cleaner, but we're about to get to the more a Dominican area, a little bit more culture. A little, a little bit more gritty. A little, a little grittier. So you see a lot of fruit vendors chopping up your fruit for you so that you can enjoy it as a healthy snack. So not everything is unhealthy when you buy it in the street. So we just started walking on St. Nicholas and I, I kind of feel like transformed to a completely different neighborhood but it's still the heights a lot of energy I'm loving this yes you see lots of vendors lots of people in the street uh, selling their goods and products and you hear the music and you see more of the what I recognize as my neighborhood and my people Almost at the restaurant that you recommended, I have to say that walking through here has really brought back some memories for me of being in Mexico. Just some of the life in the streets of Mexico City, for example. And now we are at Punto de Sabor. Why did you take us here? Why was this the choice of all the restaurants you could have picked in Washington Heights? This is one of my favorite restaurants because it's very authentic. The people here are all Dominican and the food here is amazing and really, really cheap. Cheap is good, guys. We are going to eat a lot. Get ready for this. You have a choice between pork, beef, or chicken. Any of those options is a good choice. Guys, you have no idea how good it smells right now. Oh, this is going to be a good meal. I can already tell. Noemi, we just got a mountain, and I mean a mountain of food here. What, what did we order? So basically you have your staple rice and beans, red beans specifically. Uh, on this plate we have the pollo guisado, which is basically stewed chicken in tomato sauce. And here is the chuleta, uh, which is pork chop, and, um, and it's delicious. Here we have the sweet plantains, which you have to try. They're delicious, wonderful. And uh, this is our traditional potato salad. It has carrots, onions. There's also a red version of this, but you preferred no beets, so we'll keep it simple. And country club. 
naranja. I've never heard of this before. The Dominican flag here. So this is the official refreshment of the Dominican Republic. Yes, apparently. <laughs> you don't like it very much though. Uh, I'm not a big fan. Uh, as a dietitian, I <laughs> avoid very high fructose corn syrup drinks. Um, I'm gonna be mostly having just water today. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna try the pollo guisado for the first time. This is just a ton of food. The meat just comes right off the bone, tender. Let's try this. Mm. Very juicy, very full of flavor. Huge red beans here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And you can only order this particular menu uh, right from the staff over there. But this is just like an excellent Washington Heights Dominican lunch for you. All of this food at a reasonable price. My family, we always shared our food. Mm -hmm. So it's like a very cultural thing for me. It's a way of us connecting with our family and our friends. When you go to a Dominican household, they'll always offer you a cup of coffee or something to eat, something to drink, because that's a way that we show our love and our connection with people. And if you don't eat a, woman, a Dominican woman's food, you will never be invited back to her home. <laughs> so watch out. Good advice for you gentlemen out there. No, I mean, that was an excellent choice. I have to say that is the best Caribbean food I've ever had in New York City. Highly recommend this spot. And now we're going for some dessert. Yeah, we're going to a Dominican bakery so you can get to try a little bit of the sweetness of our island. Guys, let's, let's get sweet, let's go. Where you get your habichuela con dulce which is sweet red beans uh, this lady is famous so as you see there's always a line here because um, it's really good i like it i don't know why i like it but i like it and i like these little crackers and you said there's a the little beans in there as well just super sugary. You said people either love or hate this, right? Yes. Put me in the love category. This bakery is absolutely packed right now. Usually a good sign anywhere you go in the world. What's so special about this place? So this place specializes in Dominican uh, cake. It's called Biscocho Dominicano. Uh, the Dominican cake is just a yellow cake but it has a uh, pineapple filling or guayaba filling or tres leche filling. So they have these very interesting fillings and it's delicious, it's fluffy, it's amazing. So I'm hoping that they have some. Biscocho con guayaba. So they add a little, usually the cake has a different um, frosting on top, but because this is specifically a one portion and it wants to highlight the guayaba. They put the guayaba all over so you can really get that guayaba flavor. Let's see if this is how I remember my childhood. <laughs> mm. Yep. It's got that little tanginess. I love that little bit of sour in it. It's good. You were joking with me before about the amount of barber shops, hair salons, and nail places in the Heights. Why, why is that so popular here? So Dominicans value looking fresh, looking good. Um, and because we have so many different hair textures, anyone who handles hair needs to be able to handle every single texture of hair there is possible. So that's why Dominicans are very well known to be some of the best barbers, some of the best hairstylists. Uh, they're definitely worth the money to go. So this is the street where they filmed the HBO series Boardwalk Empire, uh, one of the scenes where uh, Nucky's wife lived in one of these buildings. Because of all the streets I've ever walked in New York City, I don't think I've ever felt like I've stepped back in time like this one right here. I'm just going to do a little, little 360 for you guys. completely feels out of place and like in, in the most amazing way possible. Do you think any of these are for rent still? <laughs> I wouldn't know. I, 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 I kind of want to live here. Yeah, yeah, it'd be awesome to live. 
in a neighborhood like this. Jamel Mansion has been around since 1765, so this is a preserved historical site, and that's why they have these types of amazing homes, cobblestone pathways, uh, still emulating uh, the that time period. This is the Morris Jamel Mansion, and, and to me, it looks like something straight out of like the South, New Orleans. And I know that New York used to look a lot more like this than like this, but it's always nice to be reminded that mansions and buildings like this are still preserved. And, and you said that you have a, a personal reason to love this place. Yeah, so I discovered this place uh, almost 10 years ago when my brother was looking for a place to get married. And thankfully this place is at, was actually free then. I don't know if it still is now. So we had the ceremony right in the front lawn and we took pictures right back here on that staircase right behind us. This would be an amazing place to get married and you can tour the inside. You just have to check their website. Washington Heights, I know, 20, 30 years ago, maybe when you were growing up, had a bad reputation for having crime, for not being the safest area of New York. How much has that changed uh, as you've grown up and in recent years? It's changed drastically. As a kid, my parents were very wary of me and my siblings going outside or being out too far away. But it wasn't just Washington Heights area, it was also even 42nd Street. Uh, in the early 90s, it still wasn't considered a safe neighborhood. It was nothing like it was today. Same thing with Washington Heights. So back then, there was a lot of crime, but now it's a lot more peaceful and you can walk very freely here uh, during the day and feel confident that you'll be safe. And what, what sort of person would you recommend move to Washington Heights? Uh, anyone who loves Spanish culture, um, if you speak Spanish, that's a plus. People will love that. Um, and also, if you're looking for more affordable rent and a mo Definitely. more affordable cost of living, cost of food, this is the area of Manhattan um, that's still uh, affordable. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the barrio, we are approaching the biggest landmark in Washington Heights and one of the biggest landmarks in all of New York City, the George Washington Bridge. So we're going to a park that has an amazing view of the George Washington Bridge and it's actually perfect because it's almost sunset. So we're going to get some really good uh, video and pictures. There's nothing quite like it, it's so close. You're gonna see, it's just breathtaking. I'd never heard of this park. I've walked by here before. I had no idea it hid the view that you're about to see. For someone that grew up in North Jersey, not far on the other side of that bridge, to me, that was always the great divide between New Jersey, a little more boring, and all the craziness and awesomeness of New York City. So to me, that bridge means a lot as someone that lived on the other side. What, what does it mean for you? Uh, whenever I travel outside of Washington Heights, I always knew that I was making it home when I saw the, this bridge. Um, so it was like after a long day, either in Jersey or some other state, coming home to this, that was my favorite view because um, I knew I was coming home. Washington Heights, my neighborhood. I grew up here. I recommend everyone come here just for the views, for the culture, for the food, uh, and the affordability of it. It's amazing, especially if you want to stay away from like the tourist traps of certain areas of Manhattan, or if you've already done that and you kind of want to see what else New York has to offer, this is a perfect place for that. Make sure to tell me down below in the comments what you thought of this tour, uh, where was your favorite place, and make sure to check out my other New York City playlist. We've got guides like this, tips videos, a whole lot of good stuff. Thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time.